working to learn what caused a bit of a stir in the Granville area and really a lot of Kent County. Nearly two dozen people contacted 911 reporting that they heard a loud explosion sound happening around 8.30 tonight. Now, just into our newsroom, we actually have a viewer who caught the sound on camera. It's about five seconds into this video clip. Listen closely. You heard that boom there. Some folks tell us that this shook their homes. Some folks telling us it sounded like a bomb went off. We don't know what it was at this point. Police are still trying to figure that out. They're asking anybody who does know what happened to give police a call. Now to the loud boom. Many of you heard around Central Texas last night, and we're all very concerned <laughs> about, we're still learning about what may have caused it. Yeah, tonight we are getting a somewhat better idea of what it may have been. All right, first, Fort Hood said 1st Battalion's 82nd Field Artillery Regiment was in the field doing testing and shooting artillery as part of a week-long training regiment. They also said an EOD group was firing demo ammo last night. But this evening, Fort Hood spokesperson called and told us that they changed parts of their original story. They said that EOD was not training when the loud booms were heard, it just it's it was just the 82nd artillery and they believe certain weather conditions caused people to hear those booms. You can read more about the story on our website, KCENTV.com. We should also mention that we've heard from SpaceX and they were not doing any testing last night, so we can rule them out altogether. Northern parts of the state woke up to two earthquakes this morning and one of them was felt as far away as Tennessee. The U.S. Geological Survey says the first two small quakes measured at 3.6 and 2.4. The first one hit at 7.40 this morning. The second came about 45 minutes later, both near the town of Bergman. The people as far away as Memphis claimed they felt it, but most of the shaking happened between Harrison and Mountain Home. Well, then a third earthquake happened just before 2.30 this afternoon in almost the same spot, measuring at 2.5. Scott Ospris with the Arkansas Geological Survey tells us They've received around 700 reports from people who say they felt the quakes this morning. This earthquake was not a normal quake according to how people described it on the local media Facebook and on EarthquakeReports.com. USGS updated the magnitude again to 3.6 at a depth of 5.1 kilometers. These are triangulation averages. There is a possibility this could have been a meteor explosion or the mystery booms. It seems the mystery booms might still be happening, but they seem to be less frequent compared to 2011 to 2015. Keep in mind most 3.0 never cause an audible sonic boom if you compare with the dozens of small quakes that happen in Oklahoma which possibly are caused by water injection underground. But this location does not have many fracking wells and even if it did, like the ones in Oklahoma these would not cause a sonic boom. The signature of the quake seems to be hinting to a shock wave. USGS is known to mistake meteor explosion on USGS even if AMS did not detect it. There are many bolides the size of cars that can go undetected. On average there is one bolide explosion somewhere over the earth. Only quakes above 5.0 have potential for a sonic boom at the epicenter. And this was not a jet if it causes the ground to shake for miles, Jets simply don't have enough energy. Here is how a few people describe it on earthquake reports. Lakeway, it sounded like rolling thunder then the house shook for several seconds. Pruitt, was sleeping on ground while camping. Heard through the ground rumbling that sounded like very large piston engines, then a huge clunk, then the rumbling continued for some time before fading. It may have lasted 30 seconds. Chadwick, we heard it more than felt it, we first thought it was thunder or an explosion. Blue Eye, laying in bed, heard what I thought might have been someone blasting to build a new home site, house shook, continued to shake for what seemed about 10 seconds. Blue Eye, Missouri, rumbling like thunder or maybe a blast and then shaking for about 10 seconds. Bergman, felt like an explosion wave. A strong shaking that traveled through my bedroom and out the wall. Shook the chair I was sitting on and there was a loud rumbling noise as of a slight avalanche. Omaha, lasted about 10 seconds. 
sounded like an explosion. House shook, windows vibrated. Yellville AR, we heard a loud rumbling sound not unlike a sonic boom. Entire house shook for five seconds. Harrison, heard a loud bang, then shook the floor. Lasted several seconds. We thought it might be a car accident outside but there was nothing. Protom, M.O., just heard a roaring slash rumbling sound. Some pans rattling. Didn't last very long, maybe a minute or two. No damage that I know of. Wasn't for sure what it was. Thought maybe military plane at first. Went outside and heard rumbling sound toward southwest. Harrison, Arkansas, we heard a loud explosion sound followed by our whole home shaking and moving. It felt like our home was going to collapse. Nothing fell off the walls. But it shook hard enough to shake the home. Diamond City, Arkansas, sounded like a large explosion. Shaking lasted for several seconds. House shook and things rattled. Harrison, I was standing outside on my deck when I felt the shake and heard a boom and seen the concussion move through the air. I have never seen the concussion of an earthquake move through the air before. Ridgedale, M.O., felt like a large airplane was flying low or a large truck passing close to the house. Heard a rumble, house shook for about 15 seconds. End quote. I'll leave link below. Let us know if you heard these mystery booms or other USNs. A few weeks ago, we showed you some amateur videos of strange sounds happening throughout Canada, like this one from the Paw, Manitoba. Hearing all my dogs barking. With no real explanation of what these noises were or why they were happening, Canada AM decided to launch a little investigation. So, what did we find out? Richard Dolmat is an audio engineer from the highly acclaimed Digital Sound Magic Recording Studios. He joins us from Vancouver this morning with the results of the top secret investigation. Good morning. Good morning. So, Richard, you have a trained ear. We hand you this video. We, uh, we ask you to take a look and, and, more importantly, take a listen to it. What's your first order of business in terms of the determination? Basically what I did, the very first thing was that uh, I used common sense and I kind of thought that that isn't very likely to happen, but um, I took both videos that you guys gave me and I compared, uh, compared them back to back and found that they are exactly the same sound. Uh, another thing that I realized was uh, in one of the videos, in the wintertime video, uh, there are quite a lot of active birds in that night time. Uh -huh. And I know that in Canadian winters, you don't get that many birds active in the snow in the middle of the night. So, so that was and an odd enough that, Yes, and also the same birds as the, uh, the other one in the daytime in the mountains as well. The exact same birds with the exact same rhythm pattern timing between them both. Okay, so you're talking about, when you say the two videos, you're talking about the one that we heard in the beginning um, from the paw, and you're talking about the Conklin, yeah. Alberta one? That's right, yes, those two. Okay, so let's play the Conklin, Alberta sound one, one more time. Okay. Okay, so now that you've called attention to the birds, now I, I, I didn't hear them before, I heard them just now. So, wh seeing that they're both the same, you've determined that? Uh, that it's uh, a really good viral marketing ploy, actually. Textbook, very well done. <laughs> really? And when you first listen to it, I mean, this is what we, you know, you, you, when a video goes viral like that and strange sounds and people want to have all kinds of wonderful um, creative theories about it, you kind of think, well, it must have happened. But you had to determine that, and then you went another step further. Technically, you were able to kind of create or replicate by using a piece of that. And let's, cut, let's play what you were able to put together, that now. So how did you get that to work that way? What is it? Uh, well, basically what I did is I broke down, um, in sound design, one of the best things to do when you want to get something scary uh, is to pitch it down by about an octave or so. And uh, so what I did is after uh, doing this for about 19, 20 years, you get to hear how sounds 
sell when they're pitched down, either, even if you don't know the source. Um, so I broke the uh, original YouTube video sounds down to, uh, I think I broke it down to an alligator roar, two lion roars, some white noise, a stone dragging on concrete, and three water phones. It's an instrument uh, oh, made uh, by a guy named Richard Water. And uh, yeah, and they all been pitched down with a ton of reverb and compressed, and uh, that's what you get. Fade in, fade out, and you're done. This is like a sound book recipe. It's it, like a exactly recipe book. Exactly what it is. <laughs> yes, you get, you get professional chefs. You know, they taste something. They could break down exactly to what spices and what ingredients were used. That's the same thing. It's just, uh, just experience and training with the ear. There you go, debunking these viral videos for us. Thank you, Richard, for your investigation. Thank you.